going on Crunch Nation? KJ here coming back at you guys with another YouTube video. I've been a little out of sorts lately. Health hasn't been great. Um, been on vacation trying to get that stuff sorted out. Still kind of in and out of the hospital from time to time. So if you do see me fall off for a little bit or anything like that, just please excuse me. Uh, Crunch usually does his best to try to take over and do as much as he can while I'm gone. Um, I was supposed to be on vacation, supposed to be at a friend's wedding. I uh, got super sick, ended up in the hospital. Uh, didn't even get to make it to the wedding um, and then had to come back from Tennessee and have been sick for the last week. Uh, still trying to get medications in the right order and get everything situated to get back to normal life. Uh, so. Uh, I'm still going to try to do as much as I can to do this, still working to see if I'm even going to be able to go back to work um, and all that good stuff. So please, you guys, just excuse me if you see us fall off from time to time. Um, like I said, I do have medical conditions that uh, do prevent me from sometimes being able to do just about anything. Uh, but let's jump right into the video. Today I kind of want to go on a little bit of a rant. Uh, I've been kind of lurking in the shadows haven't been playing too much like I said I haven't been super super healthy uh, but I've still noticed that EA is on something right now when you look at the kickoff their new promo their new promo they came out with is supposed to be you know the kickoff to the season is supposed to get us excited about football supposed to get us excited about mutt supposed to just kick off the entire season what did what did they do so you come in here and look for this you get a couple of tiers so far I've only gotten 25 stars so I've earned up to tier 3 I've earned a total of 20 footballs which is the new currency that they put into the game for this promotion I've earned a total of 20 20 of them next will be 10 more so I'll get 30 then the next tier, you get one of these tokens to get you a hero player, but you need two of these tokens. Then you look, you go to 75. That's the highest that you can get right now on this first portion of the promo. So grand total, you can get 45 footballs from this and one token. It takes two tokens to get an 88 overall player, which you need four of to get the master Byron Jones. So you can get one from here. Then you jump out, roll over to Seasons, which we'll do as soon as the menus load. You roll over to Seasons. You come in here, you take a look at Seasons. They got a new house rules. Which the house rules, don't get me wrong, is pretty good. College rules, overtime rules, very short, very quick nothing crazy but you can get a total of 65 footballs from this for winning 25 games 25 games is a lot of games even if they're very quick still a lot of games you can get one hero token from this so from playing 10 of these games and playing all of those solos you can get one 88 overall player for free one like I told you, it takes four to get Byron Jones. And Byron Jones is one of the best corners in the game right now. So if we go take a look, we'll go to the item binder first because I have two of the players already. So let's go to item binder. Let's go to quality elite. Todd Gurley. Right now. Going for 150k. 150k. Trent Williams. 152k. Basically 150k a pop. That's 300,000 coins between these 88 overalls. Right? That means that basically they're all going to average out to about 150k a pop. That means to get Byron Jones finished completely, it's going to take you about 600,000 coins. 
600,000 coins if you just do it by coins. Let's check just to be sure. We'll check on the other two cards. So let's take a look. 150k. 150k. Right? So even where I'm at with two players, right? It's gonna take 300k to get Byron Jones. Granted, you'll get Byron Jones, his power up, and you'll get two of these players back Nah, You will, which isn't bad. I don't disagree with that. The set is okay for Byron Jones. The price to do the set, the ability to get the cards, is where the issue comes in. So not only is that the problem, then they've got something against us making coins. Why? Why do they have something against us making coins? You look at this this right here packs 50,000 coins it contains one one 81 plus overall player one 50,000 coins then you get three gold or better players and one 66 or better player it is almost impossible without you pulling something alongside of an 83 for you to get your coins back you're not making your coins back from these packs you're just not you can pull this you've got to pull at least an 83 for your overall for the kickoff player to just start the ball rolling because the 83s are only the last time I looked like 20k Let's go take a look. So we're gonna go to the sets. Let's look at the 81s first. You pull an 81, 81 overall. It's 11K, 11. Which means you gotta make up another 29,000 coins between the other four cards in the pack. Which more than likely you're not going to. You get an 83. 22k 22k which means you gotta turn around and make another 20 something K off of everything else about 27k about 27k between three golds and a silver odds aren't very likely you've got to pull something else and the odds in the pack aren't that good the only way you're making your coins is if you're pulling an 85 or higher. 85s make your coins back. Barely. And with tax, they don't. But with the other cards in the pack, you'll make your coins back. So you pull an 85, you're making your coins back. You pull an 88, you make some coins. You pull the limited, you make a ton of coins. But the odds of this are very, very unlikely. Then you go and look in the store. We're gonna go look at the store. And this is where I'm talking about they're against us making any coins. They're just against it. This year has been the hardest year to find coin making methods. You go to the kickoff reroll, 75. Let me lower this so that you can see. 75 footballs. 75 footballs to roll an 81 to 85. Why are you capping it? Why are you capping it at 85? Granted, you can roll this set, and as long as you roll a 83 or above, you make footballs back. You barely make any footballs back for an 83. You make a ton of footballs back if you roll an 85, but the odds are you aren't doing it. We'll do one. Watch, just because of this, I'll roll an 85 on this one. Then the animation is the same animation I told you, just because I'm doing this, I'm gonna roll an 85, but let's look. You rolled an 85. That is 180 footballs, 180 footballs. So I can do two more rolls, I, you know, basically. I can do two more rolls from pulling the highest overall pull that you can pull in this re-roll set, which odds are if I do that again, I'm not getting these back. I'm not gonna make my, footballs back 
you just won't. So why cap it off at 85? Why not let us roll for the 88s? If you want this to be a great promo, you want us to be excited, you want us to have fun with it, you want us to engage, make it where we can engage. And why are you capping it to where we can't do the re-rolls and hit the limited? Why not? It's hard enough to pull cards it is, as it is right now. It's hard enough to pull high overall cards. You can sit here all day and just pull packs just over and over and over and you're not going to pull that great of pulls. You just won't. Sit here and do this all day. You'll pull golds every once in a while. You'll pull an elite. But there's no way for us to engage in the promotion. There's no way for us to engage other than to play the game. Which is great. Everybody loves playing the game. That's why we play the game. But at the same time, why are you going to take away a portion of the engagement? Why are you going to make it where all we can do is play the game? And then you have to wait. Nobody wants to wait if you, like, you want excitement in the game, you want us to engage with the game, why are you going to take away the ability for us to engage in the game? Like, like I said, I rolled three of these straight. This is the fourth one, I believe. And we pulled nothing. Absolutely nothing. I didn't make my coins back on almost any of those. Nothing. But you can only, for this week get 188 overall player for free from engaging heavily in this by playing tons of solos by playing a bunch of house rules games there's no point in opening the packs because you're not going to make your coins back unless you hit huge on it so there's no methods because they capped them how, am I, how are we supposed to come up with a method to make coins? How are we supposed to engage in the game and build up our coin stack to buy the cards that we want to play your game when you're capping us? You've got to give us the ability to engage. You've got to give us the ability to, to pull the cards. That's why Cooks is like 2 million coins or something because there's no way for any of us to pull them. There's no way for any of us to engage in the game to go after cooks other than putting money or using our coins to open up packs that we're going to lose on. So what is the point? I just don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. I'm sitting here losing my mind right now trying to find the. There it is. It was at the bottom where I couldn't see it. So, like I told you, it takes about 600k to build this Byron Jones. He costs 370. Even owning two of the the players, I can't even make coins off of it. Can barely. I'd barely profit. Then you got Cooks here, who's 1.7 million coins. There's four of them up on the block. Nobody's gonna have this card unless they pull them or they just buy tons of packs and they use their coins to purchase him but he's not worth 1.7 million coins yeah he's probably the fastest receiver in the game right now but he's not worth 1.7 million coins he should maybe be 800,000 coins seven to eight hundred thousand tops and more people would buy him and more people would be using him and engaging in your promotion EA I don't understand and I just, I don't get it. So I had to sit here and go on a rant with you guys today. Not a normal video for us. Normally we do gameplays, pack openings, coin making methods. But we can't make coins because you won't let us. Why is it capped out at, at 85? We should be capped out at the, the ability to pull the limited. Why not? What's the difference? What does it hurt y'all for us to re-roll these? People would be buying tons of training. People would be buying tons of uh, players to get footballs. People would be engaging and doing all kinds of things. Crazy, going through, doing all of this stuff. If we had the ability, people would be opening packs. Packs would be rolling out right now. You would have streamers, YouTubers, everybody and their mother out here ripping packs. If we had the ability to get anything out of it. But you can't get anything. 
who wants to sit here and roll with the super low chance of getting an 83 to an 85 and then just losing your footballs all over again because like I said I'm not even gonna re-roll that 85 because the chances of me getting what I just got out of it are so low that it would be stupid on my part to go ahead and do it. EA, you need to get back to us. Get back to your consumer base. Get back to your customers. Stop worrying about your money. Stop worrying about all of that. Stop. Just get back to your consumer base. That's the problem. You're so focused on y'all's pockets, the, you know, everything, the economy of the game, worried about how you can get us to spend more money, how you can get us to do this, worry about us playing your game. That's it. That's all we're here for. We're here to, to buy your game, play your game, engage in your game. You'll get way more engagement and way more money if we're enjoying ourselves. But we're not. We're not enjoying ourselves. The gameplay is a little bit better this year. A little bit. But there's tons of bugs. There's tons. You can't even play mutt squads right now. Because if you try to play and you're the quarterback, the other person that's the head coach gets flipped onto the quarterback and the quarterback gets knocked out of the play and isn't even there. And y'all know about it. But you're too busy capping off reroll sets instead of worrying about that kind of stuff worrying about franchise that hasn't been changed in 20 years worrying about the fact that oh they got methods and loopholes to make coins and who cares who cares how many coins we have who cares it's fun it's something for us to do stop trying to worry about what we can't do and start focusing on what we could do. We would be playing, having tons of fun. Yeah, last year the gameplay was garbage. It was. The gameplay was horrible last year. So all everybody did was make coins, stack coins, build their teams. Why can't we have both? Why can't we have both? What's the, what is the problem with us having both? That's my question. Anything you guys are having problems with, anything you guys are seeing as well put it in the comment section i'm sorry this is a very very long video it really is um so excuse me for that one sorry guys i got on my soapbox and didn't want to get off um but just hit me and crunch up in the comment section we're just trying to get in front of ea get somebody to say something to see something so hopefully something will change maybe they'll change it on the second part of this promotion who knows who knows what they're gonna do but let's slam the like button let's get the views on this video let's get this out there let's see how many people we can get on it and hopefully we can fix Madden hopefully we can it, it ain't even fix franchise anymore it's fix Madden in general because we're not really doing anything good right now the only fun anybody's having is the game plays a little bit better this year little bit but there's still tons of bugs tons of things that need to be tweaked um, but in terms of engagement into ultimate team is bad too so your franchise is bad your ultimate team is bad what's going on but like I said I'm gonna get off my soapbox I'm gonna stop this one at right now if whatever you guys are having issues with to bust in the comment section so that maybe you know we can do a video on that or anything like that if you guys enjoyed it like comment subscribe as always and we're out